Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and thank you for being here and thank you for the super things. And let's do a little ring, 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 ring. Come on in, spirit guides and angels. Yes. All righty, today. Catherine has had it with Megan. It is leaking out now. She has completely slammed the door on Megan. Didn't say Harry, but Megan. Uh, meanwhile, people are saying, or it looks like Harry got veneers. I don't know. It could be just Photoshop. It didn't look like a Photoshop picture. So I haven't done around and dug around, and I'm not that interested to know it. either he did or he didn't. But it looks like his two front, it looks like his front teeth uh, are very different, especially his first, his top teeth, his first four in the front, uh, very different, uh, much larger too. So he doesn't have his little chiclet teeth as much like he used to, <laughs> or maybe, I don't know. But anyways, yeah, he doesn't have the best set of looking teeth and quite possibly he could have getting a Hollywood smile. Anyway, so there's that. And then Megan, Megan's claw. Everyone's talking about the claw because of the microphone. So it's all gone back to that. And yeah, it seems like the uh, trending hashtags on Twitter keep growing in terms of um, what they say about her. They're very, very unflattering. And they just keep coming. Let's just put it that way. They just keep coming. Some of them I laugh at. Some of them I'm like, wow, wow. She's really in the dumpster fire now, you guys. And so when Catherine, it leaks that Catherine's completely done, uh, that's not going to, that's just not going to sit well with her <clears throat> at all. So let's find out about Catherine's energy and how she's feeling. I'm sure she's ecstatic not having Megan in her life. It's a plus. It's not a deficit. Uh, she can function and move about in a more freestyle way without feeling like she's on eggshells. Uh, so I'm, I'm sure she's she. it's the best decision that she can make. It also applies to the kids and to her husband. So there you have it. You're not getting next to my husband. She knows she's a mate poacher type as I talked about yesterday. So yeah, no dualities, two, two of cups in reverse. She is not interested in, in the least, but totally, boom, we're done. I'm done, de done, done, done. And we will not have any connection whatsoever. So it's very platonic. She's blocked her. It's an emotionally blocked position. So she's emotionally blocked her with the two of cups in reverse. Challenging position is being bothered by it, actually. Uh, the tears. It is. It is because she did make her cry. Here we talk. Here we talk about who made who cry. It's because she made her cry. Megan is a liar. Okay, so she made her cry. Plus, she did things to Charlotte, uh, taking pictures and gathering uh, intel and spying on the children and doing all that stuff, which we're all well aware of. Uh, and she just makes everyone cry. She's made her daughter cry. She's made her cry. She says nasty, horrific things to change the public perception of who she is. And she's just not going to have it. So basically, Megan is a bad omen. Nine of Swords is a bad omen card. I mean, she really is a bad omen. It's a very doomed mindset position. A lot of rumination. So she ruminated over this. She's sick and tired of ruminating over Megan. She's sick and tired of the tears, the rumination, the negative thought patterns, worrying over the communication. It's a worrying over communication card. She doesn't want to talk to her uh, because she knows things aren't going to go well. And she knows how Megan is a spinner, how she likes to spin things. So she can have a conversation with her. <clears throat> Let's get to the uh, focal point here. Focal point here is, yeah, this here falling apart, emotionally falling apart. Uh, Catherine got to the point where she basically, she needed a therapist. Uh, she took her down. She just got it to the point where she became too hyper-focused on her own emotions because she was that distraught. I would say Catherine became incredibly emotionally distraught and basically felt smothered by the bad omen energy here. Very depressed, depressed. She put her into a depression, um, you know, and trying to sell Catherine short, basically. Uh, trying to sell her short like she's not a loving, compassionate, healing, supportive mother. Uh, who's a role model and respected and, you know, loves other people and takes that on and that high self-worth. She took Catherine's self-worth and she tanked it to the point of, you know, turning her into a hateful person. And so that's another reason to get rid of her, putting you into a deep depression 
and painting you as someone who's not a loving, compassionate, healing, and a, a, a warrior for love, because basically the Queen of Cups is a warrior for love. She really did try to alter the perception of her and put her down in a very dark way. Pain. Yep. She, she created nothing but triangulation and pain. Megan, this is Megan. Everywhere she goes, she hurts. She hurts. That hurts put, being put behind her. That hurt doesn't serve her anymore. You won't triangulate with us anymore. You will not try and chase my husband. You will not give him goo goo eyes so he has to fiddle with his scarf. I will not look you in the eye anymore to where I have to block my husband because you want to go in for a hug. Uh, no more nastiness. No more anything. It's going to be a chronic illness. She has a chronic illness of the heart. And she doesn't want to deal with Megan. We're not triangulating. Three of Swords is a triangulating of grief, heartache, betrayal, pain, suffering, vengeance, and scourge energy. I don't want that scourge around my family. Hidden energy. Yeah, the, it'll never work. She doesn't have it in her. She knows Megan was going to give up. She's a lazy ass. And it will never work with Megan. She's not going to go the distance. She's not going to play the long game with Megan. That is the four of pentacles, excuse me, the knight of pentacles. So with the knight of pentacles, it's very hard working. She's not going to work at the relationship. She's given up. It is full stop. Nothing's going to change. It's an unachievable aim. It's a knight in reverse. When you see knights in reverse, it's basically an unachievable aim. Anything with Megan will not work. So it's full stop. She's going full stop. So I, I believe the article. Yep. She wants her mental peace. And that is it. Megan slayed. Megan slayed the war. She, she slayed the war, but what, you know, what an unfulfilling win, okay? And even Catherine may have slayed the situation, but now she just wants peace. Let's just peace. It's very unfulfilling. It's, it's an arrest position to arrested. So Megan's been caught out. Everybody knows what she is. She doesn't have to worry about putting that out there that she's done with her. She's, it's the loss of a loved one. Megan's not in the family anymore. It's simply not worth it. She's not worth it. Working with her's not worth it. Having a relationship's not work, gonna, worth it. Uh, trying to educate Megan's not worth it. Giving her money's not worth it. Have, sharing any resources with her is not worth it. Megan's a bad apple and she's out because Megan is very impatient. She's impatient. She can't take her time. She cannot grow. Her impatience is what she can, and she became impatient. I would say she became impatient. I just want my peace now. She's simply, the juice is not worth the squeeze dealing with Megan at all. Megan's not worth it, worth her time. She's nothing but pain and suffering. The outside influences, yeah. Outside influences is she knows Megan wants to be a star and try and dim the light of, of Catherine. Catherine's the star here. Catherine knows she's the one who's glowing up here. Catherine is the one that everybody loves. Catherine wants peace, happiness, optimism. She's glowing up. She's coming into her own. She keeps growing and growing into her position as everybody discusses how she has grown into quite the queen material. She has to glow up. She has to be a healing presence. She has to have faith in life, positive attitude. So she's going on with a positive attitude with peace. Hopes and fears. She hopes that she can carry on with the family and be the queen. This is top high, the high. This is basically being the next queen. This was Queen Elizabeth card. It will be hers eventually. And she knows it. Final call. She has a lot of decisions to make. It was a tough decision. She had to weigh her head and her heart when she did it. Uh, she was torn because there was a lot of arguments and confusion. She was at an intellectual crossroad of maybe because she was torn between two options. So up, upright, uh, it's a no position. Sorry, no. No, I've decided no. I don't want to see you. I've got my blindfolds on. I'm going to stay blocked. I'm going to stay blocked. Uh, I'm weighing my pros and cons. Uh, it's been an intellectual crossroad. But I see this with this. She's going to block out uh, her eyes and her heart from Megan. I don't want to see you. I don't want to hear your problems. I don't want to hear the emotional triangulations of the three of swords that you did. I don't want any more betrayal. I don't want to see the scourge. I don't want to see the chronic illness of the scourge. The scourge doesn't serve me. I don't want to see her. I'm going to be queen. I'm glowing up. She's not worth it. I just want some peace. I'm not working with her because she's not going to be part of my future. She's in the rear view mirror. She's not in the front rear, front mirror. She's not in the, in the headlights where I'm going. She's in the back. 
She's in the back. She's behind me. Depression. Too much depression. She tanked her. She made her character questionable. Megan is, Megan is a bad omen who creates nothing but tears and grief and r negative rumination. Not worth it. I don't want to have anything to do with her. She is scourge. She's absolute scourge. So let's get to the center of the deck. There's no, yeah, it's just an ongoing issue with no fulfillment. Nine of cups in reverse. The war goes on. The emotional war sort of goes on with this nine of cups in reverse. She's not going to give her, Megan, her wish fulfillment. She doesn't have the wish fulfillment for Megan. Very depressed kind of position with the nine of cups in reverse. It's, a, it's another depression card. Very let down. Very low emotional status. And also it's about overindulgence. You know, she knows Megan overindulges. There's no end in sight with that. And it's just shattered dreams. So it's sort of a shattered dream. She didn't get Megan as a positive influence as a sister-in-law, plus a shattered dream with Harry. And it came to a rock bottom with the Ten of Swords. The ending did not go as she thought it would. She It was being defeated and carry on. So this is her way of sort of saying, I'm so displeased with her, with that knight in reverse. Uh, you know, she lacks the ability uh, due to dependency. So she has to, she's dependent. Catherine is dependent on the monarchy and the glowing up. She has to take her down. And there is no end in sight with Megan. So I see it that way too. And then with this, it just comes to a very negative completion. There is absolutely, you know, no new seeding, no new rooting. And she's going to go up to an ace of swords from this 10 of swords. And with that ace of swords, she's going to get, she has clarity of thought, even though she's going to block Megan with her heart and her eyes. And I don't want to see her. I don't want to talk to her. I want nothing to do with her. Um, I'm, you know, I can pick myself up. It's just a temporary painful ending. And I'm going to pick myself up and I'm going to become that ace of swords where I have connection. Uh, I, I am about truth because it's a 10 of swords upright. It's an ace of swords upright next. So she's all about the truth, the truth, the clarity, honesty, accountability. You know, she had a breakthrough truth card. And her focus is on speaking the truth after this defeat. From the nine of cups in reverse, she knows what would happen if she didn't do this and block her, block her intellectually, visually, heart-wise uh, with this painful decision. She knew that after the nine of cups in reverse, would have gone into 10 of cups in reverse, which is totally shattering and breaking her own family and taking down her own family with betrayal. She knew if she didn't step in and say, say nope, I'm completely done here. It's been, I've been debating this a long time. Uh, it would have been a complete shattered family. It would have shattered her family and she would have been betrayed and backstabbed literally uh, probably to the point where there would have been no return. It would have been like this where, whoa, I cannot pick up and, and, and pick myself up because I lied for Megan. I lied and said Megan was okay. I lied and pretended that everything was okay. So she had to do what she had to do to protect her family. This is self-preservation energy here. And she knows that, that Megan is very, you know, it's morally corrupt. Mer Megan's morally corrupt. And the truth is Megan is very morally corrupt. She's not allowed back in the house. She's not coming into my home anymore. She's not acceptable with the four of wands in reverse. So we have that. And then on this side here, because Megan is a thief, Megan went in. What did she do? She went in with cameras, taking notes, taking pictures. She was doing stuff in the children's rooms, private living spaces. She was using it for her benefit for later on. That was a snake in the grass person in the family. We don't want her anymore. The truth is we let a, we let a thief in our home a thief was allowed in the home and that is the truth with the page of swords in reverse that is the truth here it's a problem child megan is a problem child she acted like a problem but really the truth is she was she was she is that person who will work against you she will always work against the family the foundation of the family she will always work against celebrations reunions love Megan's a thief of love is really what she is, but she takes it all down. She does not fit in. Megan's very unstable. She doesn't have a solid foundation. She never came from a solid foundation or she didn't turn out to be solid. Uh, so she moved out. Megan and Harry moved out. They moved out because they're snakes. And that's the reason they moved out. They were forced out because of immoral, unfair behavior, snake energy, and trying to take everything down and putting everyone in a mental prison putting everyone in a mental prison, self-sabotaging themselves, 
and they thought they could reinvent themselves, create a new life, manifest what they want. They could not change them. They could not, they could use all the potentials they have. They can try to glow them up, but none of it would work. They're con artists. They're con artists caught up in their own mental prison. And they could land in prison because that is an actual physical prison card too. Some doesn't, some said, someone said to me on my other channel, oh, that's, I've been reading for 30 years. Eight of Swords, not a prison card. Man, you've been reading the wrong books. Because if you read some of them, there are a lot of readers that say that Nine of Swords can be not only just mental prison, but it can represent a physical prison card too. So it is about self-sabotage. It is all about, you know, setting traps to yourself. Uh, immobilized by fear. It's also about figuring a way out. Uh, so Megan and Harry are going to try to figure a way out through con artistry of how to maneuver everything they do. Everything they do, they set themselves up into their own cage uh, and thought they can get out of that mental royal cage and manifest what they wanted, but they failed. They failed because they were trying to do it through force and manipulation. And when you do force and manipulation, the energy is low and it doesn't usually come in in a positive way. So it actually manifests because that's not how energy works. So she sees them as very low vibe, low conscious, um, immoral, snakes, very unstable, uh, very debatable whether or not to even have a conversation with them because they know whatever conversation you have, you will be backstabbed. Simply not worth being around, associating with, celebrating with. Megan will never be able to step foot in a palace party or a reunion of any kind. There is no friendship, absolutely no celebration. Megan has been fully blocked by Catherine, and that's what the article stated. And I could say, yes, the cards agree. Good job, Catherine. Good call. Very necessary to maintain her position so she doesn't take down her family. Megan is a destroyer of families. That is what she's good at doing. She is destruction of families. Every family she joins, she will take them down. The first guy that Megan married that was annulled, his family got rid of Megan, paid her off to send her away because they hated her. He did, she didn't divorce him. They got the annulment because he was a, came from a wealthy family. They didn't like her. They knew right away. They picked up on it. Lawyers have a good sense of character because that's part of their job. They were able to read through her. They got rid of her pretty quick. And Trevor, unfortunately, was trying to glow her up. Uh, he bought into it, hook, line, and sinker, and then so did Harry. So... Anyways, that is Megan, and I, there's a pattern there. There's a much of a pattern with Megan. So she destroyed three. She destroyed three families plus her family. So that's four families she destroyed. Who's the next? She knew four families. So then she would have destroyed her intimate family with her kids and William uh, on a more private uh, destruction. Was where this was headed. Not just as a royal destruction, but the destruction of her three kids, William and herself. And so she sees that she does. She also destroys organizations, as we know, and companies. So it, it, destroying a family, a family unit of uh, six, excuse me, five, maybe there'll be a six, a family unit of five is a piece of cake for Megan because she, she that's what she does. Uh, her, yeah, she, she is very gifted at destruction. That's really all she's good at. That's really, uh, that is her, her, her legacy. Her legacy is destruction. Her legacy is 10 of pentacles in reverse. That is Meghan Markle. Anyways, she is bankrupt of the mind. She's bankrupt of families. She cannot root and become solid with the family. She will never have great security with the family. She cannot be around family. She cannot enjoy family for generations and generations. All Megan can do is divorce, go into legal battles, feeling the loss, breaking the family unit and doing things her own way. Lots and lots of legal battles and splits. She's going to be bankrupt. She's going to always be looking for money. She's going to be focused on greed. She's basically complete family misfortune. You invite her into your family, it is a complete misfortune because she will take you down. And Catherine did the right thing. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Until next time, like and subscribe. Bye, you guys.